For today's tutorial, I enlisted the help of my daughters to make some nativity scene figures using Crayola Model Magic Clay. I loved this stuff when I was in middle school. Not only is it fun, but it's easy to work with and it air dries, no baking required. The Model Magic Clay was anonymously donated from my art supply wish list, and I'm going to show you how you can use simple shapes to sculpt your very own Jesus, Mary, Joseph, and more. For this project, I use Crayola Model Magic Air Dry Clay, clay tools like sticks and a rolling pin, and markers. Some optional supplies include a Ziploc bag for storing your clay so it doesn't dry out, toothpicks for structural support, hot glue, and cookie cutters. You can just build the figures or you could go above and beyond and use them to make ornaments. If you've never used Crayola Model Magic, it's a soft and easy to use air dry clay. The consistency is soft and kind of squishy. It almost reminds me of a marshmallow. It's not messy and it comes in different colors that you can get in a set or individually. The Model Magic set that I used came with a bunch of different colors, but you could also do this project with plain white Model Magic clay and markers. One of the cool things about this clay is if you color it with markers, you can blend the marker color into your clay to change the color. You could also build your figure and color it once it dries. The colors can also be mixed with each other to create unique colors. I tried to focus on simple shapes for my clay figures. A sphere, a cone, cubes, long rods like a snake, flattened clay, kind of like a pancake, and ovals. You can make almost any of these shapes by first starting with a simple sphere. To make a sphere, I took the clay and rolled it in between my hands or on the table. I then used my fingers to adjust the shape to make it more even. To make a cone, I pinched the top of the ball to make a point and I flattened the bottom for the base. Cubes can be made by pressing against the sides of a sphere. Rods can be rolled against the table to make a long skinny piece and you can flatten the clay with a rolling pin. I'm not the best at clay and sculpting, but you can make all of your nativity figures using just a few simple shapes. I sculpted little balls for the heads and hands, cones and ovals for the bodies, flattened pieces for clothing, and rolled out clay for things like belts and hair. Then you can just stick them together. I mixed some of my clay colors together to make different colors, and coloring with markers also helped change the colors. I made some bigger figures as well as some tiny figures that fit on a piece of Model Magic clay I rolled out and cut with a cookie cutter. While the clay was still fresh, I used the back end of a stick to poke out a hole so that I could turn it into an ornament. When the clay was dry, I drew on the faces for my holy family with a fine point sharpie. I showed my girls how to make these different kinds of shapes, telling them that these kinds of shapes can be used to make different parts of the body and clothing. Then I let them go for it. The girls had never used Model Magic before, and they both said it was the best thing ever. It was really intuitive for them to pick up and experiment with. One thing to keep in mind is that the clay pieces stick really easily to each other. Simply press the pieces together and they will stick. This is a good thing because you don't have to worry about things like scoring the clay like in pottery, but it can be a bad thing if your child decides that they want to change their design. If you find that your pieces aren't sticking together, like maybe the clay has started to dry out, you can use a toothpick or some hot glue to help secure the pieces together. I thought that my daughters did a much better job of sculpting their clay figures than I did. I love the straw texture that they added and how creative they got with some of the colors. My youngest added a sheep and a donkey, and it's good to try new types of art because it helps us experiment, learn, and grow. Most importantly, it was fun, and sometimes the fun and silly crafts can plant some good seeds and memories in our faith lives. Like I mentioned earlier, you can sculpt the figures so your kids can decorate or play with them, or you could even use your figures to make an ornament. You could attach an ornament hook or string, place your pieces in an open face ornament like this one I found at Michael's, or create an ornament base like I did with clay. I would love to see how your nativity figures turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media and know that I post new Catholic inspired art tutorials like this one every week. If you'd like to support my art supply wish list, I'll leave a link in the description. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you very much and he loves your artwork very much. Thanks for following along and I'll see you in the next video.